and welcome to the second part of my video about Advanced Squad Leader Starter Kit 2 Scenario Baking Bread. And uh, we're playing in the Stalingrad 25 October 1942 and so far Soviets are doing, well, quite fine. Uh, they st still hold their line, uh, Germans suffered some uh, casualties, but uh, Germans are not about to stop. Uh, their goal is to capture these both buildings, if they will do it and they will be uh, successful, but Soviets are still holding them quite fast. Okay, so uh, let's start our game. We are starting with Rally Phase, and now uh, Germans have one broken unit, which is here. They might attempt self-rally, but it will be uh, harder, because they have plus one because of, uh, of self-rally, and minus one because of the building. So they have zero. It is 8, so they remain broken because the morale is 7. Now Soviets, they have one broken unit here, so the commander might try to rally them. It is 7, <coughs> minus 1 because of the commander, minus 1 because of the building, so it is fine. 5, so they are fine. Alright, any other broken units? Yes, we have one broken squad here, but they cannot can't self-rally. Uh, okay, so that's all. We are moving into prep fire phase. And uh, what Germans are going to do? I think I will try to fire with these two squads on them. I have 8 plus 3 minus 2. So if I have 8 plus 1, it is 9. So it is pin test check and they are broken, so nothing. <coughs> And these guys are going to fire on them. So I have 4, 8, 15. So it is 12 plus 3 because of the stone building. 11. Wow, another epic miss. Germans are not very lucky so far in this game when it comes to firing. And next I'm going to fire with this stack. On them. I have 4, 6, 9, so I have 8 minus 1 plus 3, so it is 8 plus 2. Oh, lucky roll! We have uh, 7, in the 8 it is 1 MC, so we have one more morale check with plus 1. It is 8, so Soviets are pinned again. They were pinned in the previous turn, I believe. Okay, and that's all when it comes to the Soviet, so, uh, sorry, German prep fire phase. We are now uh, going into movement phase. I'm making assault movement with this stack, so this squad. I still make this mistake. And so they move here, and these Soviets are firing on them. They have four. They are pinned, so their firepower is halved, so they have two, and it is doubled because firing on the adjacent hex, so they have four, and they have minus one because enemy is in the open ground and moves. So we have four, minus one. Oh, epic fail. It is nothing. And we, ha we will have to put to place this uh, desperation moral counter on this Soviet unit, so Germans did well. And now I'm going to move with this group. They all, they have light machine gun, yes. So I'm moving here where they are safe. And then I will move. Hmm. If I will move here, then this machine gun will be able to fi spray fire with me. So I will move here. I will take two uh, with residual fire, so I have two minus two. Oh god! That was bad. First it's covering, so we have one, and we have two in the minus one, so it is one MC. First commander, he's fine, and his men, it is nine minus one because of the commander, 
and plus one because of the morale uh, check so it is nine so they are broken my bye this is bad this is bad I hoped they will make it but they seems the, they, they, they didn't you can see that residual fire can be deadly as well even with such lower lower uh, morale factor of the two and now I'm going to fire on them with this stuff, this squad, so I have two minus two, and this is a big miss. And okay, that's all when it comes to this part. And now here, I'm making my movement like this. First, this squad, they move here. One, two, and now these Soviets are firing on them. We have, we have four minus two because of moving in the open ground and non-assault movement it is ten it is covering so we move to column of two and minus two is eight so it is nothing our germans are fine and they are moving here to end the, their movement on this hex and now these germans they moving one two three and now these Soviets are firing on them again they have firepower of two with minus two it is six in the two in the column of two it is pin test check Germans made it so they have to stop their finish their movement here but uh, German Soviets have to move into final fire residual fire of one goes here and I think that's all when it comes to the German movement phase so I can remove residual fire markers from the board and next we have a, a defensive fire phase okay so what about uh, some uh, firing on the Germans coming So let's see what, uh, which uh, of the Soviet units can fire on Germans. I think I will start here with two guy, with these two squads. They have firepower of eight, firing on them without uh, light machine gun. Six plus three, it is nine. Nine in the column of eight is pin test check. So uh, commander, and then two German squads. First the commander. He's pinned, first squad, they are pinned, and the other squad, they are fine. So, <coughs> commander and first squad are pinned. The other squad, oh, they have eight, so they are not pinned. Oh my, this is my mistake. So, only commander is pinned. And they get fine on fire. And now, I think I am able to fire with them. I totally forgot about them, but I have firepower of 4 and a range of 2. So, no matter if I will fire on them or on them, I will have my firepower halved. So, I will fire on them. I have firepower of 4, it is half, so I have firepower of 2, minus 1, because of the leader. Oh god, this is an epic shot. Two minus one is four, sorry, three minus one is two. Two in the column of two is K1. So, first of all, one of the German units suffers a, a casualty reduction. So, one of them is. Uh, one of this unit is halved, and I have to check which one. So, 1, 2 for this, 3, 4 for this, and 5, 6 for this. So, Commander, he suffers a uh, reduction, so we have to check if he's wounded or killed. Uh, let me uh, see, where do I have any wound marker? My god, this is a, this is a usual problem when you need some counter, you cannot find it. Okay, I found it, finally. So let's make a roll. If I would roll 
one or four he's wounded if he if five or six he's killed one so he's wounded and then I have to make a morale check for each of these units with plus one so first for the commander nine so he's broken oh sorry and then for the broken squad six it is seven and they have seven so they are fine and then for the good order squad ten so they are broken wow so this dual uh, uh, conscript uh, squad managed to uh, give these germans a real hell my god okay and any other uh, soviet units that are about to fire yes this gun of course they are firing on this hex with uh, two hit number of eight and minus two because of the acquisition target so it is five so they hit and now let's make a roll for infantry fire table it is nine in the column of four it is nothing so they missed uh, uh, so, oh, they hit but they scored no uh, results okay that's all I believe yes that's all so I can remove these defensive uh, fire markers and we are moving into advancing fire phase but because of the very lucky shot of these uh, Soviet cons conscripts I am not able to fire uh, with advancing fire anywhere on the board so all I can do is to remove these prep fire markers and then move into road phase okay so starting here I'm going to move this entire poor stack here all units below have desperation morale counter but uh, this unit above doesn't have to so because of that they don't have to uh, be uh, re uh, they, they don't have to road and uh, now any other units on the board have to road so that's all next we have advanced phase oh and any other any any uh, german units that might advance yes i think they they can one and one and i think i should try here with these guys here and these guys here okay so oh, maybe even here I should try some some luck mm, this could be hard because all these hexes are in the range of, right of fire in the range of fire of these two units but I think I have to try my best so I'm moving here and here this would be a very risky move but I have to try and that's all when it comes to the advanced phase we have no close combat phase so I can remove pin markers one is here and the other is here okay and that's all when it comes to the German actions we are moving into the Soviet actions all right it's time for Soviet actions in this turn so uh, we will have some Soviet reinforcements coming through this edge of the board. We have one 5 to 7 uh, squad which is here and uh, tr three 4 to 6 squads with light machine gun and commander and they will arrive through this part of the board. Uh, but we are starting with uh, rally phase and the Soviets have only one broken squad which is here and they have poor luck to have this uh, desperation morale counter but I might try to self rally them 7 plus 4 is 11 so they remain broken and the Germans well Germans have this huge stack here with a lot of broken units and is there any commander here yes there is one commander here but he is br uh, wounded so because of that we have to try to rally him first 
Because of the wound, his morale uh, is lowered by 1. So he has morale of 7. It is 9. Plus 4, because of the desperation morale, is uh, 9. And minus 1, because of the building, it is 8, so he remains broken. And because of that, he cannot rally his, his units, so they all remain broken as well. I have a feeling that this huge stack will be a perfect target for this gun. And, okay, I think that's all. <coughs> and I don't have any other units to rally. <coughs> okay, so let's move to the prep fire phase. And, of course, let's start with this gun. It's, uh, fi it's firing on this building. So we have minus two because of this counter, plus three because of the building. So we have plus one. And we need to rally eight. We get rally. Sorry, we we need to get eight or less. We have seven, so we hit. So it is a firepower of four. Oh my! This is a miss. Germans were extremely lucky because uh, any hit would damage these poor guys badly. <coughs> okay, next next one is this squad. They are firing on. These Germans, five, five in the column of four, it is one MC. The commander passed and his men are broken because we have ten plus one uh, and minus one, it is ten, so this German squad is broken. This battle turned out to be quite uh, not very maneuverable, rather static, I believe. I hoped uh, to get uh, some more action, but it seems that Germans cannot make it. And uh, any other Soviets are about to fire? Yes, of course. Okay, they are firing on this squad, so we have 12. It is 12, it is covering, so we have 8, and 6 in the column of 8 is 1 MC. 8, so Germans are broken. One less and they would be fine, but they are not. Let's see here, we have 8. 9 in the column of 8, it is nothing, so this German unit is fine. And uh, this uh, Soviet uh, squad fires on them. They have 4 and plus 3 because of the stone building. It is a miss. Hmm. Okay, okay. I f now if, if they can fire at anyone well, at them. Or at them. Oh, I think I will rather fire on them. I have uh, 4 and a range of 2. So my firepower is halved. So I have 2 plus 3 because of the stone building and minus 1 because of the commander. So I have 2 with my plus 2. It is a miss. And I think that's all when it comes to the Soviet uh, prep fire phase. It was a lot of firing and two German units are broken. It's not bad. And next we have a movement phase. So let's move here. One, two, three, four. Because this is a, uh, uh, this is a rubble. All hexes marked as uh, Orchards or woods are rubble, so this hex is rubble, so they have to sp spend three movement points to move through this uh, hex. And next we have here, they are conscripts, uh, but they are with commander. And because of that, they can, they, and they are moving down the road. So they can move quite fast. The problem is that uh, this Soviet, this German uh, unit here, can fire at these hexes. So I might do something like this. One, two, hmm. three, 
And now a German player uh, declares that he wants to fire. We have to check if Germans have line of sight. I believe they have. Yes, they have. So we have 4 minus 2 because of uh, first uh, first fire moving into uh, against non assault uh, against unit with non assault movement and the unit in the open ground. It is 4 4 in the column of 4. It is 1 MC. This can be very bad for Soviets. Commander passed. First unit is pinned. The other unit is broken. And the third unit is broken. So uh, two Soviet units are broken. One is pinned. I hope it, they, will do, they, they will do it better. And then I have to place residual fire and the first fire. And any other Soviet units are about to move? I don't think so. No, I don't think so. That's all when it comes to the movement phase. So I might remove this counter. And next we have defensive fire phase. Okay. I think I will make a fire group of these two. I have 8, 15, and 19. So I have 19 firepower against this Soviet unit. So I have 19 minus, uh, uh, sorry, 19, 19, so it is 16 in the column, in the infantry fire table. 16 plus 3. 7. I get a rate of fire for my heavy machine gun. And I have 10 in the column of 16. It is normal Morada check. 8. So Soviets are broken. Uh -huh. And I have a uh, uh, rate of fire, so I might fire again with firepower of 6 and plus 3. Oh god, this is, that's a great roll. I maintain a rate of fire and I have 6 in the column of 6. It is 1 MC. So I have to make uh, another um, uh, morale check for Soviets. It is 9 and since they are broken, they have to be reduced into half squat now where do I have such a half squat hmm. oh finally it always takes me a while to find a proper half squat but they are broken. Okay, and we have another sh shot. So, wow! Wow, wow, wow! This is a situation that rarely happens. We, we get another uh, uh, rate of fire. So we are able to fire again, and another we have uh, another, another we have another uh, one MC for Soviet unit, and they are broken again, and because of that they are eliminated. You can see how deadly heavy machine gun can be. <laughs> okay, and I can fire again, so I'm firing on them. It is 6 plus 3. Oh, it is 11. So it's nothing. We lost rate of fire and, uh, man and uh, we fa failed to br uh, break uh, Soviet unit. But we destroyed this one, which is quite good. And uh, next... Oh, I should place defensive more fire counters. Okay, and next we have here, 
I'm firing with this uh, Soviet German units on them. So I have 4 and plus, uh, plus 3 minus 2, so I have 4 plus 1. It is 9, it is a miss. And finally I'm firing with them. I have 5, so it is 4 plus 3. 7, it is a miss. So that's all when it comes to my defensive fire. And next we have uh, advancing fire phase. Then I don't think that Soviets are about to fire anywhere. So I'm removing these prep fire markers. And next we have a road phase. Okay, so these uh, Germans are routing here on this hex with a commander. <clears throat> these Germans are routing here. They are moving with commander since commander is not broken, sorry, not wounded uh, or pinned, so he can uh, route with his units. And uh, that's all, I think. Yes, that's all. Oh no, 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 not uh, not all. We have to route these guys, and I've wrote, wrote them here. And that's all when it comes to the road phase. We have an advanced phase. And I am moving here. And that's all. Or maybe not. I'm, I will move these soffits here. Uh, okay, that's all when it comes to the advance phase. We don't have uh, close combat, so we can, we are able to finish this turn and start turn four. Okay, and start we are starting with German rally phase. So first, I I will try to rally this squad, this squad here. They have a desperation morale counter. Oh my! <coughs> they are uh, because of twelve. Uh, they ha they suffer uh, reduction, so we have to turn them into half squad. They are first line, so I need to find a proper. Oh yes, here it is. And of course, it they remain broken. It was a very unlucky roll. Next, I will try to rally this uh, broken, uh, this wounded commander here. It is nine; he remains broken. And next, this squad here. Six, six plus four. It is ten minus one because of the commander, minus one because of the building, so it is eight. So they remain broken. I believe they have morale of seven. Yes. And now I might try to self rally one of my units. I will try with this squad, that, which has morale of 7. Well, they failed. They failed. So that's all when it comes to Germans and now Soviets. Uh, Soviets have one group they might try to rally, which is here. But I think it's, bar it's almost impossible be because we have... Uh, oh, first. They should remain bro here because they were bro they were pinned. I forgot about it, but they should be stay here. And now uh, they have a little chance because they have morale of uh, uh, four, I believe five, five. And I have to rally only natural two to rally them. First unit. Oh, it was close. And eight, nothing. So they remain broken. It wasn't very good uh, rally phase. Oh, one more action. I might try to take this light machine gun. It will be successful if I roll less than six. It is successful, so I get this light machine gun. 
And that's all for Rally Phase. We are starting with German Prep Fire Phase. Alright, our Germans, what are you going to do? Hmm. I'll start with firing on them with this stack. So I have 8, uh, 8, sorry, 8, 12, and 19. So I have 19 plus 3. Oh, we get rate of fire for a light machine gun, and we have 11. In the column of 16, it is pin test track. So Soviet are, Soviets are fine, but we have to make a, a roll for a rate of fire. So we have 6 plus 3. It is 7, so we missed, but we maintain the rate of fire. 5, 5 plus 8. Sorry, 5 plus 3 is 8. In the column of 6 it is pin test check, and we still have rate of fire. So Soviets are pinned. And yet another shot. Oh, it is nothing, and we lost rate of fire. We only managed to pin these Soviets. Next, I'm firing with these guys on them. I have uh, 4 plus, uh, uh, plus 1. 7 plus 1 is 8, so it is a miss. And uh, I think that's all when it comes to the Oh no, no, not all. Not all. Uh, I might still try to fire with these guys on them. Hmm. The question is if it makes sense, because if I, uh, if I'm, uh, if I will ma m make it, I won't be able to move. And my idea is to take care of this gun. So no, I'm not going to fire. And that's all when it comes to the German uh, prep fire phase. And next we have German movement phase. So, I'm making an assault, assault movement on this hex, and these Soviets are firing on me. They have 4 plus 3, 7 plus 3 is 10, it is a miss. And now these Soviets are firing as well. They have 4 plus 3 minus 1, so they have 4 plus 2. Oh. They failed. I should place residual fire of two. And now them, they are moving here with a normal movement. So these Soviets are firing on them with two plus two. It is a miss. And then they are moving here, so they receive residual fire of 2, plus 3 because of the building, it is 5 plus 3, it is, it is a miss, so they are fine. And now these Soviets are firing on them, they have 4, and, and sorry, they have 2, plus 2, it is 8, so it is a miss. So our Nazis are fine. Now the only thing we can do is to move this gun. But if I move it, I will lose this target acquisition counter. The other problem is that this gun is not 360 mount. So if we would try to fire on this unit, which is out of uh, guns, uh, velocity we have we would have to make two turns one and two it would cost us four modif plus four modifier because non amount gun get plus three for the first turn and one for any other so we would have plus four because of the m moving gun and plus three because of the building so it would be plus seven 
modifier and minus one because of the enemy mo uh, uh, moving without assault movement in the range uh, in the range of ten. So we would have uh, plus seven minus one, so it would be plus six, uh, and our two hit number in the range of one hex would be ten. So we uh, we we would have to roll four or less to score a hit. It would be very hard. I don't know if it's even possible. I don't know. Of course it is possible, but it is very uh, hard to uh, achieve. Uh, well, I might still try to fire with these guys. They have more firepower of 4 and a range of 2, so they would have a firepower of 2 and plus 2. <laughs> of course, of course. When you need a good shot, you don't get any. Mm, so, dilemma, dilemma. Okay, I won't fire. I will. F I, I won't do it. Uh, so, uh, any other German movement? Yes. I think I will move this half squad here. And now, this Soviet squad fires on them. They have four minus two. Oh! Epic miss. Epic miss. So it is two. And Germans are continuing their movement on this hex. So uh, Soviet, uh, Soviets have firepower of 4 and minus 2 again. The same situation. And it is 6. In the column of 4 it is normal morale check. So Germans passed. <laughs> they were lucky. They finally reached this this place without being uh, smashed into pieces. Okay, so residual fire of two. And that's all when it comes to the German movement. So I can remove residual fire counters. And start with uh, German, sorry, Soviet defensive fire. Yeah. <clears throat> And where I'm going to fire, uh, f first I'm going to, to score, try to score a hit on this hex, because this gun is probably about to be lost. So let's uh, make a good use of it. We have uh, to score 8, plus 3 because of the building, and minus 2 because of the acquired target. So it is 6, plus 1 it's 7, so it is a hit. And now we, we, get, we have to use infantry fire table. Oh my, it is a miss. Very bad, very bad. Very bad. And any other German, uh, sorry, Soviet uh, fire? I, no, I cannot. So I'm removing defensive fire markers. Okay. And now we have Soviet advancing fire phase. Sorry, German advancing fire phase. And I'm firing with these two squads on them. I have uh, 4 and 4, so I have 8. 8 plus 3. Because of the building. Oof, epic miss. And next I'm going to fire with this gu these guys on them. So I have 4. <coughs> four because uh, sorry, I have two and five. Four, it is four, four plus three. Hmm. It is a miss, and I don't have any other German units that might attempt to perform uh, advancing fire. So that's all when it comes to the advancing fire phase, and next we have road phase. Okay, they are marked with the desperation morale because they are adjacent, they are broken, and they are adjacent to the enemy unit. So they have to attempt to, to, to road. So they move here, and now they have to make interdiction check. They are fine. They are moving here. And then on the commander, on the commissar hex. 
So I finally be able to make some use of this commissar. And that's all when it comes to the road phase and next we have advanced phase. My Germans are entering this hex. And we have close combat. These Germans are entering this hex. And we will have close combat as well. These Germans are entering this hex. And these Germans are entering this hex. Or maybe I should make a movement or move of them. Commander, uh, commander remains here to, to, to rally this squad, but they move with this with their heavy machine gun here. Okay, that's all when it comes to the uh, Germ uh, German advance phase, and next we have close combat phase. Starting here, we have to make a roll for ambush. And oh, special rule number two says Russian elite and the first line units receive minus one DRM to their ambush die roll, but they are not. Uh, yes, they. I, I'm not sure if I should count them or not. Uh, this is an uh, enigma for me because uh, they are uh, they are crew. So I don't think so. I, I'm no. So let's make an ambush roll. Red for Soviets. No ambush. Okay, and uh, now we have uh, Germans have eight and Soviets have one, two. So we have four to eight for Germans. Sorry, sorry, we have four to one to Germans, and we ha we need nine or less. We we rolled eight, so uh, Soviets are broken. So Soviets are eliminated. And Soviets need three or less to score a hit. Oh, they were close, but not no. Soviets are eliminated. And, and, and yes, there is one more close combat, which is here. First, we have to make an ambush roll, <coughs> but Soviets are pinned, so they get plus two. And because of the special rules, they have minus two. I think they are first line. Yes, they are first line. So we have no ambush. And now, now, now we can resolve close combat. And we have four against four. So we have one to one. But Soviet uh, uh, Soviet strength is halved because of the pin. So we have four against two. So we have two to one. And now let's make a rolls for Germans. They failed, and for Soviets, they failed as well. So we can remove pin marker and turn this counter on the melee side. Okay, so let's uh, resolve Soviet actions. Starting with uh, um, uh, rally phase. Uh, Soviets might try to rally their troops first here. This commander tries to rally these two squads. Both of them have morale of 5. 8 miss and 10 miss. And now this Commissar. Because of his special rule, Commissar ignores uh, uh, desperation morale counter. So they have morale of 8. And they are fine. So, comm Commissar helped them to uh, rally themselves without killing anyone. That's good. And now Germans. Hmm. First here. It is six. So they are fine. Now here. Six, so they are fine. And now uh, this uh, c uh, commander here might try to self rally himself. Seven, he is self rallied. 
and because of that he might try to rally his other his units here oh i should remove this acquisition marker and now uh, because of the wound his uh, uh, leadership factor is also lowered by one so he has leadership of zero but he might still try to rally this unit six they are rallied the other squad three great <laughs> they are rallied and the last remaining unit seven they are fine so he managed to rally them himself and to rally all his broken units on this hex it's great it's great uh, but this is Soviet turn of course okay so next we have Soviet uh, uh, prep fire phase hmm. what Soviets might do I think this is, the most important is to get this hex away uh, free of Germans so I'm firing with them on this hex which I have 8 plus 3 oh no not like not in this way but I have to try my best I'm firing with this squad with heavy machine gun on this hex as well so I have again 8 plus 3 Oh, 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 oh. and the machine gun is broken <laughs> and another shot they have six or maybe I should the question is if I want to move them so, sorry if I want to fire them or I should rather move them here it would be very dangerous task because of Germans here and Germans there but well, I have to try it. So, and uh, finally I have this unit f and I'm firing on them. I have 4 minus 1 because of the leader. No, my. No, no, no. Com com I should call a commissar here to <laughs> hit some of them. To, fire, to make them fire better on their enemies uh, and any other uh, Soviets can fire? No, I don't think so. Alright, so that's all when it comes to the Soviet prep fire phase and next we, have, we are moving into Soviet uh, uh, movement phase and I am moving here. Uh, uh, this is assault movement. So uh, they are firing on them. They have firepower of 5, so it is doubled, so they have 10. And it is, uh, so I, w I use column of 8 with minus 1 modifier. 6 minus 1 is 5. 5 in the column of 8 is 2MC. <laughs> not, not good. Ten. It is 10, so Soviets are broken. And I will fire on them as well with one of these squads. So I'm going to fire on them with four. And minus one. Oh, God. I have two. It is covering, of course. So I, I'm going to use column of two. And minus one, so it is one. One in the column of two is one killed in action. So Soviet unit is literally destroyed. Their light machine gun remains here, but they are killed. Oh god. It was bad. Oh, I should place first fire. And any other Soviet units that are going to move? Yes. These guys. One, two, three, and now these Germans are firing on them. They have four, four minus two. Whew. 
epic miss and their light machine gun is broken. And that's all. Uh, here. Oh, no, but that's not all for, for all my units. So, one, two, and now these Soviets might, might fire on them. I have firepower of four and minus two. It is seven, minus two is five. Five, it is one MC. Oh, poor Soviets. One less and they would be fine. But sadly, they didn't make it. And then I'm moving this squad. One, two, three, four. And I'm moving this squad here. This is assault movement. And now these two German squads are firing on him. They have four plus three. It is a miss. Okay, that's all when it comes to the Soviet movement phase, so I can remove residual fires. And next I have German uh, defensive fire phase. I'm uh, to, uh, going to fire with this squad on this Soviet. I have 4 plus 3 minus 2, so I have 4 plus 1. It is a miss. And next I'm going to do the same with this squad on them. I have 4 plus 2. Again a miss. And now this squad with heavy machine gun fires on them. I have 8 plus 3. A miss. And that's all when it comes to the German defensive fire phase. Next I have Soviet advancing fire phase. I might try to fire on with them. I have 2 plus 2, so I have 4 4 plus 3. Oh, 6, 6 plus 3 is 9, no, nothing. Still, they achieve nothing. Mm, that's all. That's all when it comes to Soviet advancing fire phase. And next we have uh, road phase. So they are routing in the, on this hex, and that's all. I don't have any other units to route. And next we have uh, Ad so Soviet advance phase. I am joining this combat with this squad. And then I am moving here, and they are moving here. This is going to be another close combat yes oh they should also move on this hex okay and that's all when it comes to soviet advancing advanced phase and next we have close combat so let's resolve close combat here now we have soviet 8 against german 2 so we have 2 uh, 2 to 1, so German, uh, Soviets need 7, and the Germans decide to attack one of uh, Soviet squads only, so they have 1 to 1, and they need 5. So first of all for Germans, they missed, and now for Soviets, they made it. So German squad is eliminated. And next we have close combat here. We need to make an ambush roll. Nothing. And now Soviets have 4 and the Germans have 2. So we have uh, 2 to 1 for Soviets and 1 to 2 for Germans. So uh, Soviets need 7 and the Germans need 4. First Soviets, they missed and the Germans, 
nothing. So both sides are bound into close combat without any effect. So that's all when it comes to the turn 4 and I think I will finish this part of video here. The situation is getting complicated, both sides suffered some losses and uh, still no, uh, Germans are not controlling any of these buildings full in full so the last uh, uh, of the uh, last two turns will be decisive but that's uh, all for now thank you for watching and see you again